Fisher's Log is a program that makes it very easy to maintain a fishing log, organize your trips, and analyze your fishing data. I'll be demonstrating the features of the program using my actual fishing log. When you first start the program, you see all of your trips listed in the top table. In this case, they're grouped, they're sorted by date. Something I find very useful to do is sort them by location. If we click on location and scroll down, we'll see that the trip log is now grouped by where the catches occurred. Let's take a look at this location, Roanoke Point. If we select a particular trip, we'll then see the catches that are associated with that trip show up in the catch table. We'll also see any photographs that were associated with the trip. If we click on a photograph, we'll get the full size image. Something that I find very useful to do is to select multiple trips. You can do this using the control key and your mouse. So we'll select three trips here. And what I sometimes like to do is look at the information for multiple trips. And the way to do that is to select more than one trip and hit Selected Trips to Browser. This will automatically export the information from those trips to HTML and display it in your web browser. So now I can scroll down. I can look at all of the information for the three trips that were selected, including any photographs that were taken with these trips. Another useful thing to do with multiple trips selected is to go to the file button and you can print these, you can send them to a file, you can send them to a, the screen or a text editor. And this will make reports of these trips and then send these to the appropriate places. To look at a single trip in detail, you can select the trip and hit editor view trip. And this will bring up the trip in the editor and if you need to change anything at this point you can change it from here okay so let's look at what's involved in creating a new trip we'll hit the create trip button and the first thing we have to do is set up the start of the trip and in this case it was April 30th now note that as the date is changed the information below showing sun and moon data is also changed. Fisher's log does this automatically. It automatically calculates all of this data. You do not need to look it up or record it. Okay, this particular trip was um, a night trip. It occurred approximately, uh, it was about 10 p.m. and it lasted for three hours. Okay, the location, and these are all of my locations, and when you start the program, it doesn't know anything about locations, but it will learn these as you go along, and it will add your locations to this list, and we'll see that in a bit. Okay, so this was a Herod Point. It was a short trip. Salt water. Um, the wind direction was southeast. It was a little bit on the breezy side. It was um, a little bit of partial moonlight because it was coming um, coming through the clouds but it was dry and the air temperature was about 55 degrees with a steady barometer it was quite calm clear water and what I was interested in was more of the current than I was of what the tide was so I was interested in when low slack was and that actually occurred just a little bit after I got there at about 10:15 and the water temperature was down in the just a little bit below 50 degrees the water was clear it was not a very good trip I only caught one fish I'm gonna give it a trip rating of one because it was a rather poor trip and let's see some comments only one hit no bait seen Okay, so we've created that trip entry. Uh, there was actually one fish caught, so I will add that. There was a striped bass. It was quite small, about four pounds, perhaps 20 inches. These are all my methods that are learned in the same way that the locations are learned. 
and this one hit a seven inch red fin and we'll save that catch okay so we've just created a trip now let's take a look at creating a trip to a location where I haven't fished before catching uh, species I haven't caught before that I haven't logged before um, and with a new method as well okay so create trip and this is a hypothetical trip we'll just make this um, start here we'll make it a couple of hours long and this location is called Chino Island this is Southwest Florida this is a boat trip we could choose kayak or canoe as well note that if you choose a freshwater trip the tide information below disappears okay for wind direction we'll take east with a fairly light wind and sunny skies and dry it's usually quite warm in South Florida let's go there 79 degrees steady barometer calm water stained a bit high tide we'll just dial that back a little bit okay water temperature often quite warm there and we'll rate the trip middle of the road average trip three okay and for comments we'll just say that uh, let's see um, nice conditions few fish okay okay so now we've been prompted for a zip code this is required so that the program can calculate the Sun and the moon data it does not have to be the exact zip code in fact I use one zip code for my entire log unless you get on a plane you probably don't need to use more than one zip code if you're within a hundred even two hundred miles the program will give you very good accuracy with the Sun and moon data an approximate zip code for that location is 33956 and then we'll never be prompted for that again for that particular location okay so let's enter a catch and let's enter a species that has not been entered before a snook and we'll make it seven pounds 27 inches we'll give it a new technique a shrimp and save it and now we've created a trip entry now if we're to create another trip we'll see that Chino Island is now in the list it's been added to the list of locations if we go ahead and just save a trip and then enter a catch we'll see that snook has been now added to our list of species that we catch and shrimp has been added to our list of methods okay even if there's log stopped here it would be a very useful program because it's just a very nice way to organize your data and you can make trip entries very quickly nice detailed trip entries but in some way that's where it starts the analysis tools will be covered in part two of this and just to show you one quick query we'll show for 2009 we can hit plot all fish and that will show all the fish that were caught in that year but there's many more things we can do with that and we'll cover that in part two okay fishers log runs on windows and most macs you can download it from fisherslog.com there's a free seven day trial period and a lifetime license is just a one-time fee of 1995